Hello everyone. Topic in this kind of chapter. One thinking critically, theory and the levels of analysis, realism and neo realism, liberalism and neo liberal institutionalism, the radical perspective, constructivism, and theory in action. And the last summary. One thinking critically. A theory is a set of propositions and concepts that seek to explain phenomenon by specifying the relationship among the concepts. Theories ultimate purpose is to predict phenomena. Goal theory operate groups of test stable hypotheses. Specific statement positing a particular relationship between two or more variables. As more and more data are collected, one must be tolerant of ambiguity, concern about probability, and distrustful of absolutes. International relation theory comes in a variety of forms, and this chapter will introduce three general theories and one new perspective. Theory in brief, realism and neo realism. So, the key actors are the state, the most powerful and matter most. The most powerful matter most. View of the individual from realism, insecure. Individuals are selfish and power seeking. Uh, from your state, insecure, selfish, unitary, power seeking as evidence of rationality. View of the international system for realism is anarchic, mean chaos, imply perpetual threat of war, more stable as distribution of power approaches unipolarity. Beliefs about change, talk about change, so for realism don't want to change. Possibility of perpetual peace logically precluded. Emphasis shifted to managing the frequency and intensity of war. A major series for release like are Taxi Dai, St. Augustine, Thomas Hobbes, Morgenthau, Kenneth Walls, uh, Robert Gilpin, John Meshimer. Theory in the levels of analysis. In the categorizing first used by Kenneth Wall, three different sources of explanation are offered. If the individual level is the focus, uh, when the personality perception choices and activities of individual decision makers and individual participants provide the explanation. If the state level or domestic factors are the focus, then the explanation is derived from characteristic of the state, the type of the government, the type of economic system or interest groups. If the international system level is the focus, then the explanation rests with the anarchic characteristic of that system with international and regional organization and their strengths and weaknesses. The proposed theory is to guide us toward an understanding of which these various explanations are the necessary and sufficient explanation for the invasion. Good theory should be able to explain phenomena at a particular level of analysis. Better theory should also explanation across different levels of analysis. Realism and neo-realism. Realism is based on the view of the individual as 
primarily selfish and power seeking. Individuals are organized state which of each of which acts in a unitary way in pursuit of their own national interest. Unitary meaning defined in terms of power. Power is primarily thought of in terms of material resources necessary to physically harm or coerce out of state. Coerce means force out of state. State exists in an anarchic international system characterized by the absence of authoritative hierarchy. So, uh, international anarchy means that uh, no world government, that the idea from the view of realism. State more important concern is to manage their insecurity and they rely primarily on balancing the power of other states and deterrent to keep the international system intact. Deterrent when I'm proud of what I'm For all the essential assumptions of realism are found in Taxidai, history of the Peloponnesian War. Taxidai History of Peloponnesian War 1. The state is the primary actor in war and politics in general. Number 2. The state is assumed to be a uni, unitary actor. Once a decision is made to go to war or to capitulate, the state speaks and acts with one voice. Decision maker acting in the name of the state are assumed to be rational actors. Rational decision making leads to the advance of the national interest. For a state needs to protect itself from enemies, both in and domestic. A state act augments its security by building up its economic prowess and forming alliances with other states. Economic prowess means economic power. Classical realism of St. Augustine in the uh, 5th century added an assumption that, arguing that uh, humanity is flawed, egoistic, and selfish. Egoistic, how Although not predetermined to be so, he blames war on this basic characteristic of humanity. Niccolo Machiavelli from 15th to 16th century, argue that a leader needs to be ever mindful of threats to his personal security and the security of the state. The central tenet accepted by virtual or release is that state exists in an anarchic international system. Thomas Hobbes originally articulated this tenet and maintain that each state has the right to preserve themselves. Han Morgenthaus in early yeah, in the uh, 20th century whose textbook Politics Among Nations became the release Bible following the World War II, argued that international politics is a struggle for power that can be explained at three levels of analysis. 1. The flaw individual in state or nature struggle for self-preservation. 2. The autonomous and unitary state is constantly involved in power struggle, balancing power with power and preserving the national interest. Number three, because the international system is anarchic, there is no higher power to put the competition to an end. The struggle is continuous. Not all really agree on the concept on the correct policy. Defensive relish really that all states should pursue policy of restraint. Restraint na output Offensive relish offensive. Defensive, wrong, wrong, 
often see we might we look the hall often such argue that under condition of international anarchy all states should seek opportunity to improve their relative position and state should strive for power neo realism Gennett Walsh. Neo realism uh, delineated by Gennett Walsh's theory of international politics gives precedent to the structure of the international system as an explanatory factor over stage. The more important unit to study is the structure of the international system, and the structure is determined by the ordering principle distribution of capability among states. The international structure is a force in itself. It constrains state behavior and state may not be able to control it. This structure determines outcomes. Like classical realism, balance of power is a core principle of neo-realism. However, neo-realism neo -neo means new, new realism, new norm of realism believe that the balance of power is likely determined by the structure of the system. Determined In the old release balance of power will a state survival depend on having more power than other state. Thus all power are you in relative terms. neo realists are also concerned with cheating the awareness that such possibility exists combined with state rational desire to protect their own interests tend to preclude cooperation among states. Robert Gilpin Robert Gilpin offers another interpretation of realism. Gilpin aids the notion of dynamism. History as a series of cycle, uh, a series of cycle, so, uh, cycle of birth, expansion, and demise of dominant powers. They might be the end. Where our classical realism offers no satisfactory rationale for the decline of powers, Gilpin does on the basis of the importance of economic power. Number two, hegemon. Hegemon may have no boy mean clamoy, clang the boy, pajami popcorn. Hegemon declined because of three processes. The increasingly marginal returns of controlling an empire or stately wall phenomenon. The tendency for economic hegemon to consume over time and invest less also state evolved phenomenon. The diffusion of technology a system evolved phenomenon through which new powers challenge the hegemon. Neorealism Antica Antica aids gender to realism. Talk about gender. She argued that human nature is not fixed and in all three but multi-dimensional and contextual. Power cannot be equated exclusively with control and domination, but must be reoriented toward a more inclusive notion of power, where power is the ability to act in concern, not just conflict or to be in a symbiotic relationship instead of outright competition. Liberalism and neo-liberal institutionalism. So key actor states, key actor not just state alone, but non-governmental groups, international organization. Uh, for the viewer individual, basically good, social, capable of cooperating, not selfish. Your state, state are selfish, the same. Have relationship, enduring friend and rivals. When I mean the but mean them, can be good, domestic, uh, democratic, liberal, or bad, can be bad, authoritarian, autarkic.
tăng tay ai giờ lo ai giờ rót ai lo nên ai giờ cọ người ta ai chia từng tay ai giờ lại cả tăng tay you are the international system and are key a bridge by interdependent among actors and international order cho người ta bộ bòn you by on the chiếc cứ mền anh ta từng tay thế người ta anh ta từng tay mấy mình tay vì ai chọn được nói interdependent là bưng vào ai kia thì mình mở rồi nhưng rồi này rồi nó nó mà mình làm thằng nào đó nó bị bộc lộ chẳng hạn bộc lộ là từng tay một tí beliefs about changing như vậy bị cá phát đồ với mình đấy sell interest managed by structure incision lead to possibility of peaceful perpetual peace chẳng hạn chọn cái bài em mới nó không được thế cứ như bây giờ thằng bây giờ to luôn đấy mà ta cứ bưng bài cho lưu sát bắn chẳng hạn nằm bên ổn nai cho cố gồm nai thật lưu sát bắn tới về rừng mòm đó ai nên thua miễn sẽ thay phía xoan phía bàn dùng bài à tầm này bạn nè major series like uh, most test quick can and you can video wilson cao uh, hên michael dole giảm liberalism and neoliberalism institutionalism liberalism holds that human nature is basically good and that people can improve their moral and material condition making societal progress possible bad or evil behavior is the product of inadequate social institution and misunderstanding among leaders one original liberal theory is found in enlightenment optimism one French philosopher Montesquieu argued that it is not human nature that is defective, but problems arise as man enter civil society. War is a product of society to overcome defect in society. Education is imperative. Number two, according to Emmanuel Kant, international anarchy can be overcome through some kind of collective action. A federation of state in which in which sovereignty would be left intact. Another origin of nineteenth-century liberalism, reformulated the Enlightenment by adding a preference for democracy over aristocracy and free trade over national economic self-sufficiency. Aristocracy meta và nạc nạc bị chuẩn nạc bị chuẩn This liberalism saw man as capable of satisfying his natural needs and want in rational ways Individual freedom and autonomy autonomy is why people can best be relied in a democratic state and fatter by excessive governmental restriction, uh, restriction, restriction. Free market must be allowed to flourish and government must permit the free flow of trade and commerce. This will create interdependence uh, between state thus raising the cost of war. Twenty-first century idealism is termed by Wilsonian or Wilson, Widow Wilson, called Wilsonian idealism. Its greatest adherent was Woodrow Wilson, the author of the Leagues of the Nation. War is preventable. More than half of the League of Covenant provision focus on preventing war. Number two. Covenant also included a provision legitimizing the notion of collective security, where integration by one state would be countered by collective action embodied in a League of Nations. Three, a liberal also placed faith in international law and legal instrument, mediation, arbitration, and international courts. The League of Nations sống bọn và chi chiết là một cái môn ông ca dạng khi chiết cả lãng cứ tục cao bị kìm lộn thì môi cả lãng cả năng lãng là mấy 
ตบกําเอาสกรีนลุกลุกปีกาลานติดแต่ออกบานจุใจคือ that through learning and education, human can develop institution to bring out the best characteristics. Neoliberal institutionalism, as why state choose to cooperate most of the time, even in anarchic condition of the international system. One answer is the story of the prisoner dilemma developed by Robert X. Roth and Robert Calhoun. Two prisoners were interrogated, uh, were interrogated separately for crime. Each prisoner is faced with interrogating and suing him like, the one is suing him like, same thing here. Uh, each prisoner is faced with a one-time choice. Neither prisoner know how the other will respond. The cost of not confessing if the other does is high, so both sides will confess. Similarly, states are not faced with a one-time situation, confront each other over and over again. The prisoner dilemma provides neoliberal institutionalists with a rationale for mutual cooperation in an environment where there is no international authority uh, mandating such cooperation. Continue. Cooperation emerges because for actors having continued us in the action with each other, it is the cell interest of each to cooperate. With the end of the Cold War, liberalism has achieved new credibility. For share democratic norm and culture inhibit aggression and international institution that bind democracy together, uh, act to constrain behavior. Five, large scale conflict is less frequent than in earlier eras. Thus, uh, Francis Fukuyama and you, there is no, uh, there is an absence of any viable political. Uh, alternative Francis Fukuyama, one of the famous authors who wrote a book about the end of history. It means that the world should be a uh, liberal democracy after Cold War, but uh, his idea seems to be flawed, seems to be mistake nowadays, like uh, most authors at you or notice. Radicalism, or we call a dependency theory, radicalism, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. actors, key actors, social classes, you know, the national group, transnational elites, multinational corporation, for individual action determined by economic class interest. You are the state, an agent of the structure of international capitalism and a executing agent of the bourgeoisie. You are the international system, highly stratified, highly stratified, dominated by international capitalist system. Beliefs about change, you be change with black knowing, radical change in a vitamin gap like black knowing. Major series like Marx, Hobson, Lenin, Prebish. Uh, The writing of Karl Marx in the 19th century are fundamental to all radical thought. According to Marx, private interest control labor and market exchanges. A class inevitably arises between the, uh, between the controlling capitalist bourgeoisie class and the control proletariat workers.
during the evolutionary economic production process from feudalism to capitalism, new patterns of social relations were developed. Already Paul are concerned with explaining the relationship between the means of production, uh, social relations, and power. Another group of radical belief enter on the structure of the global system. The structure is by product of imperialism, the expansion of uh, certain good form into other areas of uh, the world. John Hobson said that expansion of curve because of three conditions. One, overproduction of goods and service in developed countries. Number two, under consumption by worker and the lower class in developed nations because of low wages. Number three, over saving by the upper class and emergency in the dominant developed countries. To solve uh, this problem, developed states have expanded abroad and uh, radical argue that developing countries are increasingly constrained and uh, dependent on the action of the developed, de developed world. Series emphasize the techniques, uh, domination and suppression that arise from uneven economic development is inherent in the capitalist system, enabling the dominant state to explore the underdogs. Contemporary radicals cite as dependency theories attribute many important to the role of multinational corporation, an international bank based in developed country in exerting fundamental control over the developing countries. Dependency theories are pessimistic about the possibility of change. Virtually all radical theories are uniformly normative in their orientation. They evaluate the hierarchical capitalist structure as bad and its method, or, uh, mix, uh, method as exploitative. Some have discredited ra uh, radicalism as an international relations theory because it cannot explain the cooperation between capitalist and socialist state at the end of the Cold War, why and how some developing countries have escaped dependency and did not foresee predict the demise of the Soviet Union. Okay, chẳng là tu sân nặng bỏ kháng radical lý giấm là kháng chú lý giấm như thế thà một tế sĩ mua thôn lý giấm như bậc cao tình yên kia bậc cao này là người đồng bấy cực 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 lớn bậc tế cực bông ảnh vô ảnh Constructivism, key actor, not just state alone, but people, elites, and cultures. Young culture, you can like more in a two arms of hand line, you can have a side that don't need to be wrong and wrong. You are the individual, key component in creation of meaning bound by education, socialization, and culture. You are the state, an artifact whose significance is socially constructed through this course. You are the international system, an artifact whose significance is socially constructed through this course. Belief about change, possible by means of this course, in anarchy, war, peace is what we make of it. Major cities like Foucault, uh, Derrida, Grato, Spiel, Wolf, or Wend. For constructivism, the major theory called a pro, uh, proposition that all constructivists subscribe to is that neither individual state nor international community interests are predetermined or fixed. Individual and collectivities for shape and change culture through idea and practice. State and national interests are the result of the social identity of these actors. Constructivists exclude the concept of material structure. Constructivist theories like Alexander Wend accuse that political structure explain nothing and tell us 
literal about state behavior. Many constructivists emphasize normative structure. What we need to know is identity and identity change as a result of cooperative behavior and learning. If we norm, if we the monica and what norm. Constructivists see power in discursive term, discurs discursive term, the power of ideas, culture, and language. Can discursive we mean a of night a good culture, Bob Thorn and Pisa. Power exists in every exchange among actors, and the goal of constructivity is to find the resource, uh, resources of power and how it shapes identity. Constructivists claim there is no objective reality. In the world, in the eyes of the beholder, then there is right or wrong answer, only the your perspective. Thus, they see sovereignty not as an absolute, but as contested concept. Theory in Action, analyzing the 2003 rap war, release interpretation. The really interpretation, really both focus on state level and international level factor. Really see international system as anarchic and few states other than the United States would be able and willing to rid of the world of the Iraq threat. Number two, Iraq imposed a security threat to the United States and only way to eliminate the threat was to host Baptist regime from power. Three, not all realists argue that the policy the United States pursue was right, the right one. Both John Mishimer and often see release and Stephen Wall, a defensive release, have jointly argued that the war was not necessary. For John W. Bush and other release series believe that Saddam was not being effectively deterred. Bush argued that Saddam's use of chemical weapons against the Kurd in the past mean that uh, it was viable he would use them to threaten the United States. The liberal interpretation, liberal would utilize all the three levels of analysis. One, individual. Saddam was clearly an abusive leader and committed atrocity against his own population. Atrocity means cruelty. Number two, state. The Iraqi state had an authoritarian nature and replacement by a democracy would lessen the coercive threat of the state and enhance stability in the Middle East. Number three, Internationally, world Iraq was not confronting to its obligation under various UN Security Control resolutions. Thus, there was an obligation for the international community to take collective action. The international community did not respond as some liberals would have predicted because the UN Security Control did not endorse the action and there was insufficient evidence for the presence of weapons of mass destruction. The radical interpretation. Radicals would focus mainly on the international system structure, political colonialism, span, and imperialist system in which the economic needs or the capitalist state were paramount. Paramount mean very important. In the Middle East, that meant imperialism by the West to secure oil resources. The instability of the oil supply coming from Iraq explained the U.S. invasion. Many radicals believe the United States wants to control Iraq's oil, pointing to the fact that U.S. troops protected oil fields all over the country. World system and dependency series would not be surprised at all that the core state or the capitalist system, the United States and its allies, 
responded with force with Iraq, strengthened their critical interest in oil. A constructive use of the war would focus on the social construction of the threat. How the threat of Saddam Hussein was portrayed is a key part of the analysis. Number two, the concepts of legitimacy was also key. The United States recognized the need for legitimacy of its nation. Though in the long run, the efforts to gain legitimacy through the United States uh, through the United Nations failed. In sum, seeing the world through theoretical lenses, how each of us sees international relations depend on his or her own theoretical lenses. These perspectives hold different views about the possibility and desirability of change in the international system. Thank you very much for watching.